what's up guys welcome back so my previous video did fairly well the one where i mentioned five zen html widgets so this is going to be a part two to that video i will be showing you guys 10 zen html widgets this time and i hope you guys do enjoy these so yeah let's go ahead and get started Alrighty, so first up we have a widget called spew74 and that's what this looks like right here a very basic and clean looking widget it's a widget that you could use for a minimalistic setup like what I have going on right here. I don't have too much going on, just your basic icon layout and then your widget up here. And this is a widget that just has the basic essentials for most people. Like here you got your time, you got your day of the week and you have your weather icon. And it's just a widget that really makes your setup stand out that much more and takes it to the next level. So make sure to check this one out. Okay, so next up we have this widget here called HS13. And honestly, this is something that I could see Apple implementing in stock iOS. Like if they were to introduce widgets, this is what that would look like, which is something that they should have done a long time ago. But anyways, from the start, it looks like it doesn't have too much to offer, but it actually does. I believe it has over 50 plus customizations options, which is crazy for a widget. And one thing that I like about it is that it has pages. So if we go ahead and tap over here, it gives you this music player and it is functional. And one thing that I do like about it is that it gives you the album artwork as a background. So if we go ahead and go back to the home page, that's what that looks like, which is really clean. Let me go ahead and pause that and going over here to the next page, it does give you some information about your device, like your carrier, Wi-Fi, battery, RAM, things like that. And another cool thing is over here at your weather. If we go ahead and press that, it does give you a hourly forecast for the next five hours. But wait, there's more. It actually does give you the daily forecast for the next five days. So it does give you a lot of information which is really cool and going back to the home page probably the thing that I love the most about this widget is that it's compatible with dark mode so if you go ahead and slide right here and enable dark mode you could see that it does change to dark along with my wallpaper which is really cool I could see something like this being implemented in the near future hopefully by Apple so the developer of this widget Apple addict I'll post his Twitter handle down below somewhere in the video actually allowed me to give away two copies of his widget one of the stable version and the second one of the beta version which the dark mode and some other features are exclusive only to the beta version but it does have some bugs uh he's working them out i didn't really encounter anything it ran smooth so either one is good i personally like the beta since it does have more features but shout out to him for allowing me to do this so the first two people to comment my favorite color i will be giving you guys a copy of this widget either the stable or the beta I'll choose randomly so make sure to check this one out it is worth the dollar but it's well worth the money it does give you a lot of options and check out his other work as well he does good work so yeah that's hs13 for you guys all right so next up we have this widget here called soda hs13 and this widget is pretty awesome possum if i do say so myself no, i'm just kidding but it is a pretty good looking widget and it does have a crazy look to it like if people were to see your phone they would be like what kind of phone is that but yeah, um, up here you have this little image. Here you got your weather conditions, your battery. You got your apps right here, which you can only display six or you could display more if you have them smaller. It's just depending on how you want it. Right here you have your date, time, and your music player. And it is pretty cool because this image up here, when you do play your music, it does change to the album artwork. So let's go ahead and play that. So you guys see that it does change to the album artwork. And down here it gives you the information about the song that you're playing. So... Yeah, pretty cool widget overall, and this is Soda HS13. Okay, so next up we have Arco, and this is a pretty simple looking widget. It does give you an Android look to your phone, but I really do like this widget because it doesn't have too much going on. You just have your time, date, you have your little weather icon over here, which is really cool, especially that little green color. I'm pretty sure you could modify it too to a different color if you guys like. You got your location over here, temperature, and then you got your battery. And I like this little lightning bolt that it shows right here when your phone is charging. So if you do disconnect your phone, you go ahead and do that. It does go away. So yeah, pretty cool widget overall. And this is Arco for you guys. Up next, we have SB Data 21. And this is another media style widget, which I am a big fan of. This one doesn't have too much going on. Uh, one thing that I do like about this one is that it shows your album artwork in this little circle up here. And if you do press play, it does give you the song information and which album it's from right here. And when you pause it, it does go away. 
So it's pretty cool, very functional and minimal. So make sure to check this one out, SB Data 21. So up next we have Nightly here, and this is a very sleek looking widget. I really do like the live particles in the background. It makes your phone feel alive and it makes the widget stand out that much more. The cursive is a nice touch and the pink just makes the widget stand out and pop out even more. It's very simple, but it does have a lot of detail. You right here, you have your battery, you have your date, time, and I really do like these little icons over here. So this one is your music player and this is just some weather information. So if we go ahead and tap the weather, it just gives you like the weather conditions and you got your weather icon, temperature, your highs and the lows over here. And if we go to the music, it does allow you to play the music from here. One thing that I wish it had is a skip forward or skip back buttons, but it just has a play button and it just keeps it simple. It's still good looking. It's nice and pretty functional overall. So you could play it from here. And I mean, if you really did need to change the track, you could go to your music app or just go to the control center. So yeah, very functional widget and it's very detailed and I would recommend it. So check this one out. It's called Nightly. Okay, so next we have Soda HS20, and this is more of a one page widget, so it does take up your whole springboard. And you could probably apply your wallpaper if you mod the widget to remove this gray background. But this is a flat looking widget, I really do like it. And this is one of those widgets that you could use if you're lazy to create your own setup or something like that. If you just want to throw something on for a different look, you could use this widget, and it just takes your phone to that next level. Um, it doesn't have too much to show, but it does have your battery here, your RAM, and of course uh, that media player down here at the bottom, which is always one of my favorite things about these widgets. And yeah, that's pretty much it for this widget. It's cool. Check it out. And the media player does work, as you guys could see. So yeah, that's Soda HS20. Make sure to check it out. Okay, so next up we have SBEW77 here, and this is just a very basic and simple widget. All you have is your time here and your date. So this is great for those of you that like a minimalistic setup. This goes really well with those. And yeah, that's pretty much it for this widget. Make sure to check this one out as well. Okay, so up next we have SBEW48 here and this is another minimalistic widget. All you have is your date, day of the week and your time down here. But the way it's set up makes it look really well with your theme that you're using or with your setup that you create. So this one's really great. It's been around for a while, but it's still pretty useful. And if you know how to use this widget, it could make for a really good setup. All right, guys. So last but not least, we have SB Data 15 here. And I really like this widget because it looks like a Mac OS style window that you have open. So you can kind of trick your friends into thinking you have Mac OS installed on your iPhone if they don't really know about jailbreaking or they're not too familiar with technology and things like that. But it's pretty cool looking widget here you have your little profile picture i believe you could change that and i like that little band-aid that it has right there it's really cool and you have your time and you just have your weather conditions here and you have your battery here so it's pretty simple but it really stands out it just makes it look like you have a window open on your springboard which i really like so yeah that's sp data 15 Alrighty then guys, well that's going to wrap it up for this video. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel for future content. And I just wanted to say that I'm pretty close to hitting 100 subs, which is not a lot for most of you guys, but for me I'm pretty happy with 100 subs. I didn't think I would reach 100 subs anytime soon. So yeah, I'm planning on doing maybe like a small giveaway. Maybe I could like purchase some tweaks for you guys or I could gift them to you. Something along those lines. I don't know how like think of something or we could work something out but yeah i just wanted to say thank you guys for liking the videos and watching them and supporting and i'll continue to release future content hopefully i get better over time but yeah like always thanks for watching thanks for liking and thanks for subscribing and i'll see you guys in the next one peace